Hi guys, welcome back to Cat's Kitchen. We are all dressed up today because we're going to a dinner party and we are going to bring them stuffed mushrooms. So I'm gonna show you how we make them. We have some baby Bellas here. I have two packs of them. So, and then I have a dish over here that I'm putting them in. Um, we have to pre-cook a little bit, but then we're gonna actually bake whenever we get there. We're gonna bake them the rest of the way because we want them to be nice and hot. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking the stem of the mushroom out. So you can use a little spoon if you need to, but just pop this center stem out. We're gonna reuse, utilize this, but you want the mushroom cap to have a little hollow in it. And then we're just placing them into our little dish. So just got one more here. Like I said, sometimes you can pull them out if you need the spoon to help you, that works too. Obviously these are all washed and cleaned because they come very dirty. Next, we're just gonna chop all of these pieces up. Just give it a nice little rough chop, but we kinda want it to be, I'd say rough to fine chop. And then in our pan on the stove, we have some olive oil heating up right now. And we are gonna saute the mushroom bits along with some garlic. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box. I'm actually doubling this recipe. You can double it, you can triple it, you can do whatever you need to. Um, the, the recipe, the original recipe called for, I think to make 12 mushrooms and it said 12 servings. And that means only 12 people, you know what I mean? It's like one mushroom a person. And I'm sorry, that's, that's not the Italian way. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got bigger mushrooms, we've got smaller mushrooms, and there's gonna be more hors d'oeuvres there as well. So it's gonna be great. Alrighty guys, so we are ready now. This is, like I said, a medium to fine chop. We're just putting our mushroom stems in our pan. We got some minced garlic here. I've got the pan on low. I don't really like to add our garlic in until about midway through because we don't want it to burn. I am gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to this now. Just a pinch of both. You wanna make sure that you season every layer, guys because that's how you capture all the flavors. Smells good already. <laughs> and we're using uh, more coarse pepper, ground pepper in this portion because then we're going to actually bake it the rest of the way. And we've got about two teaspoons of our garlic, two to three teaspoons, however much you like. Now we're gonna turn up that flame a little bit, take it up to about three or four. I'm just gonna use a spatula for this, because this is really all this is here. We're gonna turn up that flame. Now while this is cooking, we're actually gonna make the uh, other part of our filling. I have two blocks of cream cheese over here. And we're just gonna get that going here. So I just have a mixing bowl here. And these, this cream cheese has been sitting out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need two, but I have them open, so we might as well use two, right? Like I said, we're doubling the recipe. The original recipe just calls for one. All right, next, if you have fresh parsley, please go ahead and use that. I could not find fresh parsley today. So we are just gonna use a little bit of dried. I normally would not want to use fresh parsley on something that is not going to be cooked. However, we are going to bake these, so it's going to be just fine. Pop your parsley in there. And I am also going to hit it with some garlic and onion powder. And Italian seasoning as well. I almost forgot. I can't forget Italian seasoning. 
Recipe does not call for that. However, that's what I do. So if you want to add more flavor to it, I would suggest doing that as well. Adding that Italian into it. And we're going to add some coarse pepper and our salt in there. Next is breadcrumbs. Okay, and then we're going to go back to our mushrooms. And we're going to give these a stir. We just want to brown these up a little bit. See how they're starting to get brown, but not yet there. So these just have another minute to go or so. And I've got them on about a six right now. Okay. So back over here to our filling. Um, I actually brought out the beaters because I don't want to have to try to mix this. I've got some Parmesan cheese. This is going to be um, part of the filling and also we're going to put some Parmesan, Parmesan cheese on top as well. It's going to be really, really nice. Okay, then we just got our handheld mixer. You can do this in a stand mixer if you'd like to. Let's get it on low. We're just going to mix this all the way through and we'll be back as soon as this is all mixed to show you what goes next. All right, guys, so here we have our mushrooms and garlic all browned up nice. We're just going to pop this right into our mixture. Very nice. Okay. And we're going to try to mix this again. Good thing we brought out the beers. A little bit of a pain. They're gonna taste really good. Up. It's gonna start looking like this. So I'm just gonna start whipping it now. Now I can go a little bit faster with it. Just hold on tight. Unless you have a stand mixer, then you're good to go with that. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add, we only need enough Parmesan for the top. So I'm gonna mix in some more Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna give it a little taste. Let's see where it's at. Okay, let's give it a taste. need a few things. Do a little bit more breadcrumbs. A little more salt and pepper. Just remember that your Parmesan cheese is a little salty too. You don't want to add in too much salt until you taste it. That pepper needs cooked out. That's what I'm crunching on right now. But once these bake, that's all going to emulsify. So don't worry on that after you bake it. I am gonna pick it up a little bit more of a notch. It needs some more garlic and onion powder. And I'm gonna even do a little bit of Italian seasoning some more because like I said, it just needs that. If you wanna actually take it to another level, you can add in a little bit of red pepper flakes. a lot. Just enough. Probably a couple teaspoons, half a teaspoon, whatever you're comfortable with. Again. If you have it incorporated, you can then turn up the heat, or turn up the speed. And you're going to want to get in there and scrape down your sides. Just 
just to make sure everything is incorporated. It's a beautiful color with that parsley in there. Then we're gonna taste it again. Anything else? Anything that tastes good. So now we're gonna stuff our mushroom caps. Mm. 